order to upgrade the uh, float X um, so it's got low speed compression it makes it the same as the um, performance elite if there is one or the factory so you get this little dial you get these tiny little pins and bearings and they basically control this turning around and obviously keep it locked locked in place so then you need to get some marine grease this is lithium or you get aluminium based and then you have to put it gently in these and then what happens is you have to carefully take this cap off when you take this cap off it's normally destroyed and then it, the bearings and everything just sit into there then it gives you the fa the ability to have not just rebound but also compression adjustment as well so I'm showing one what you need to do so you need to get the grease too much and then what you have to do is you need to put it inside this is very hard doing it through the camera inside okay then what you do once you put grease in it it's very that's so finicky you then get a tiny tiny little spring absolutely diddy and you drop that inside which is very hard to do one-handed it's probably the most silly thing I've done trying to do this one handed and once you get that in you re-grease it again it's gonna lift up so I'm gonna have to grab it and once you've done that you put a little bit more grease in this is it's, it's blue grease I'm using green lithium based marine gre uh, grease so this is just as good the stuff that the upgrade recommends is almost impossible to get hold of, so you have to make sure you haven't pulled this is not a very good video, you have to make sure you haven't pulled the spring out, so make sure the spring's still sat in there. So the spring's still sat in there. Got a little bit too much grease in there. And then in the top of that, you have to be careful because one of the ball bearings is smaller than the others, and that's because that sits in a top position and then you just need to sit sit the bearing inside like so then I've done one there's one I did earlier which was easier because I was doing it with two hands so you do that with all four and then this has a certain position that it sits in and you can see so the ball bearings sit into each of these grooves when you turn it to actually adjust it but this cap actually goes on only one way so that's what you do so and then once you've got them all in you have to move over to the body of the bike to push take the cap off and push these pins into a gap once you pop that cap off you'll be joy, uh, met with this so there's a little bearing there that's already in place so you don't need to use that one that's the, the fifth one in the kit and then what you need to do is slot each of those pin things that we just made and greased up, there's four slots from to go into here. And you do it with the bearing going inwards. If that makes sense. Gonna put a bit more grease on the top of here. And um, just so it's nice and greased up, because once it's on, it's gonna be nine impossible to get off. Let's see if we can see it from the other side. Any better? So there you go. One there. And one there, there's the four. So we need to get them in slightly so you can still get their switch in and you need to prise it and move it around and jiggle it so it goes on. So uh, a bit finicky, but um, once on it should all be sorted. And this is the cap that I popped off. So you have to be careful because you do, even if you go easy with it, you will put a little bit of a mark on it. But there you go, it's just basically a plastic cap that sits on top and blanks it off. There you go, so I've got all four of them and you can see the pin, so you put it with the bearing inwards. It shows up real on this camera, but there you go, there's a four in there. Now you've got to try and not push them in too far, but enough so the cap can fit in over all four. So this is a really difficult bit once that's done. That's the easy bit. And the grease, if you nicely grease it, it will hold them and stop them from falling apart. That's why you need lots of lovely grease in them. So I'm going to try and wiggle and get the cap on and hopefully <laughs> get it right first time. there we go I've got it fitted so now I've got low speed compression adjust there we go look at that 
So I'll give you a hint. So when you've got the cap, get it on slightly and then use a pick. And Jeff, gently push it in and then just get it lipped over slightly. Not a lot, just a little bit so it's just on it. Then do the next one and do the next one. Do alternate sides. And I found once you've got it hooked, it then button just pushes straight on. And now it's on, it doesn't come off because those bearings and pins keep it in place. So now I've got full adjustment of low speed compression and also rebound on this shock now. Now I don't think you can get any more dials on this shock. You need like the X2 factory to have, you know, the four points of, of adjustability. But I think the shock will be absolutely fine for trail riding. And um, yeah, loving the fact that for this £30 upgrade, I've now been able to put in low speed compression adjust. So how those of use. If you're struggling, makes you've got two things, a pick, a very fine pick, a very fine paintbrush, you saw how fine a paintbrush I was, and make sure you smear it in the grease, because that grease will stop these pins from falling out, they'll stick it in there, and it'll prevent gravity from making the pins, the bearing, uh, the ball bearings and the anything else uh, fall out. The other thing I did, which I didn't show in the videos, I also greased inside the cap, put some more grease in there and also greased on top of here. So there you go, nice and easy upgrade. I think that's one of the cheapest upgrades I've ever seen for a, a shock. Cheaper than a debonair spring upgrade um, and really innovative to do. Now the, the shock is how I want it, a lot more tunable and um, it'll help me out on the trail. Thanks for watching.